So we're gonna have the music come in real quick. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. Okay, so... <coughs> While this music... <laughs> While this music's going on... Um, we're gonna talk about all three of the deaths. Siori's death, Natsuki, and Yuri. So, Siori's death... Please don't be dead. If you if you're dead, I'm gonna freak out. I need to calm down. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Exception has occurred. Why? Um, so as you can tell, she did hang herself, so which was that was sad. Um, I think. I don't remember recalling, but I think she did it uh, right at that night where she, where I confessed my love for her. I think that she died right there. Um, but you see her clothes and her hands. Um, so her hands are bloody, which means that she probably. Uh, changed her mind last second right when she stepped off a chair or something like that and she changed her mind and she tried to get out of it and her hands were bleeding because of that her clothes it looked like sports clothes for school you know like in usually anime shows they usually wear those <laughs> I don't know why she would wear that um with Natsuki This. What? Oh no, I have to find the clip. Oh, brace yourselves, guys. This is terrifying. <laughs> That's really all it is. <laughs> Brayden? What? Why did you come read it with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why do you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off most associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri's a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Brayden, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. What is wrong with your face? Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. <laughs> oh my gosh! Um, it's she's weird. I don't know what happened to her. So she started getting mad at me for being with Yuri. Then her neck. Went <laughs> and then she walked. Then she ran toward the screen and jump scared me. And then the end was upside down. <laughs> um, I I don't know who killed her, but that I think that was the creepiest death. Um, I don't know who did it. I know she didn't do it herself. She was just angry at me, and then something happened. I don't know. <laughs> but uh. I know I'm gonna show it on the screen, so just put it in slow motion, that part, slow motion. Mm -hmm. 
see what would happen. But yeah, and she smiles as she her head is tilted. That is creepy. Okay. And then we have Yuri. <laughs> oh! I think no matter what that was gonna happen if I did yes or no that's the only that's the only explanation because she's just too crazy in the head she just she's dead oh it turned nighttime how long am I stuck in here? How long am I stuck in here? It's been a day! Her blood's turning brown! Dude, it's been a day! It's been a whole day! Another day? How long am I gonna be in here? <gasps> Her blood's completely brown. <laughs> Another day? It's been three days! It's been three days. Her face is pale. <laughs> now let me change the camera position. There we go, that's better. <coughs> um... Yuri is terrifying. Yuri's weird. So her problem is that uh, she was uh, in love with me so much that she would hurt herself for it, which I don't know why. That's just weird. And then she admitted her she committed her love and then i said yes and then she died i think if i would have said no she probably did that anyways <laughs> so she stabbed herself with the kitchen knife three times two in the chest one in no two in the stomach and one in the chest <laughs> and then um, she was smiling at the beginning when she was dead, and we were there for three days. Like that, I think that was the most cre like one of the creepy parts. We were there for three days because Monica <laughs> didn't put any script in there after the three days of me going home. So basically, I was just trapped in there for three days until the festival came up. And then Natsuki threw up and screamed. <coughs> anyway, um... Let's see. And her face started turning pale. Her blood started to turn brown, which means rotting. Um... On the, like, the second day or the third day, she stopped smiling, like, a little bit, and her eyes were closed. And I can see how... 
scary that is. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is just Monica, I get, I think. I think this is what this part's called. Hi again, Brayden. Um, welcome to the literature club. Of course, we already know each other because we're in the same class last year, and, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we could just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him, I'm talking to you, Brayden. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? Yes, I did know that. <laughs> that doesn't make it much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? No, you didn't. No. Did you? <laughs> I'm confused. Hold on, let me look at the files again. Copyright DDLC, log, trace back. <laughs> Characters, it's just Monica. Okay. <coughs> Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that's out of the way. I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry, you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Siori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me just to try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game, but no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Siri more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and implying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else, and the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Brayden? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not jealousy, Brayden. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand, because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Brayden. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me, forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expensive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Brayden. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability. I don't know how to say that. Um, edged it to this game. But I felt really bad that you didn't... You had to witness some nasty things. I realize that you have the same perspective as I do. That is just all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Brayden, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. And there's nothing else in this game for me. You're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Brayden, will you go out with me? There's only a yes question. <laughs> okay. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Brayden. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We could be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Brayden. 
the game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way home. You wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go in the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? <clears throat> this is weird. Minika. Okay. This is weird. I hate this. Oh. This is terrifying. Hi again, Brayden. Did you write a good poem today? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> don't be shy, I love to see what you wrote. Aw, um, Brayden, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There's, there is none. All it says is your name in glitchy letters. There's really no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pet in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by... One, by my one and only love, together, let's dismantle the crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. How do I get out of this? I can't even go to the beginning of the game. <coughs> the truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. And I want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed that it would be best to be a part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. <laughs> you know? I think I could get rid of her. <laughs> I think all I have to do to get rid of her is delete her character file. But how's that gonna work? There's gonna be no characters. Where am I gonna be? I don't know. I'm not gonna do it. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Aren't you ready to spend our eternity together, Brayden? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? What? Why? You're scary! Yes, I am! You're freaking me out! How do you know? How do you know I'm doing this? How do you know I'm recording? Um, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any wording? I'm sure people don't mind. I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see, do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? <laughs> You're freaking me out! <sighs> I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you give me some- <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Start! <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't deal with this jump scare crap anymore. Did I use... Did, did I scare you? I guess you did. <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Brayden, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me to time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look at each other's eyes. Let's see. Don't do that jump scare thing again. Oh! Hey, you know that book you were reading with Yuri? Portrait of whatever it was called? Markov. Portrait of Markov. It's funny because I'm pretty sure that book... Uh, actually, I don't think I should be talking about this. <laughs> Sorry. I just, for just forget I said anything. Gosh, I used to be so ignorant about certain things. When I was in the middle school, I thought I, that taking medication was an easy way out or something like that. Like anyone could just solve their mental problems with enough willpower. I guess if you don't suffer from mental illness, it's not possible to know what it's really like. But there are some disorders that are overdiagnosed. Probably. I never really looked into it though. But that doesn't change the fact that a lot of them go undiagnosed too, you know? But medication aside, people even look down on seeing a mental health professional. Like, sorry that I want to learn more about my own mind, right? Everyone has all kinds of struggles and stresses, and professionals dedicate their lives to helping with those. If you think it could help you become a better person, don't be shy to consider something like that. We're on a never-ending journey to improve ourselves, you know? Well, I say that, but I think you're pretty perfect already. <laughs> so what I want to know what happens is what to delete Monica's file, and if the game resets... <clears throat> Which I hope it does. I'm gonna delete all three of the characters and have Monica stay there again. I wanna see what happens. So I'm gonna exit. And then join back in. <laughs> what just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those wouldn't stop. And now it's just two of us. I guess that was wishful thinking. Brayden, I don't know if you would have any idea, but if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, I almost feel like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. Like, you figure out what's causing that. I love you forever. Let's be exit the game. What if I do it again? You're back. I had another really bad dream. You're not the one doing that to me, are you? It seems to happen whenever you quit the game. So if you could try to avoid doing that, I'd be really grateful. Don't worry, I don't think it's caused me any harm aside from mental scaring. I'll be fine as long as my character file stays intact. <coughs> okay, here we go, I'm scared. What's happening? Brayden, what's happening to me?